गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज सुप्रीति कुमारी टीचर ऑफ डी ए बी पब्लिक स्कूल सी सी एल बी रेडी टूडे एम हेयर टू टीच यू मैथमेटिक्स ऑफ क्लास फोर चैप्टर वन दैट इज नंबर अप टू नाइन लैख नाइन्टी नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी नाइन सो लेटस बिगिन लेटस स्टार्ट नंबर अप टू नाइन लैख नाइन्टी नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी नाइन सो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ नाइन लैख नाइन्टी नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी नाइन येस लेट एस काउंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स येस देर आर सिक्स डिजिट लेट एस कम टू द स्मॉलेस्ट एंड ग्रेटेस्ट नंबर ऑफ एनी नंबर ऑफ डिजिट्स ओके लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ स्मॉलेस्ट फाइव डिजिट नंबर एनी वन नोज स्मॉलेस्ट फाइव डिजिट नंबर ओके and greatest five digit number okay one more number i am taking and then greatest greatest four digit number one common thing you have find that whenever we are talking about greatest number the number starts with 9 only the number starts with 9 only yes in your counting from 0 to 9 which one is the greatest number okay let us count 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 which one is the greatest number 9 yes very true 9 is the greatest number so always remember whenever anyone will ask you write the greatest any number of digits write the greatest five digit four digit three digit any number that number will start with nine only because nine is the greatest one digit number then you will ask how many nines that you will get from your question only if someone will ask you greatest four digit number then four nine if someone will ask you greatest five digit number then Five nine. Let us talk about smallest number. What we have to do in smallest number? Okay. In this, the, there is also something common that these two numbers starts with one. Whenever anyone will ask you smallest number, then you have to start that number with one only. And what what after that? After that, you have to put in the rest places. You have to put zero. Like someone will ask you. the smallest five digit number you have put one in the first position after that you have to put four zeros 1 2 3 4 that will become five digit smallest number just like that in the four smallest digit number we have write one in the greatest position and after that three zeros we have put in this way it will become smallest four digit number now students you are able to answer all the questions like if someone will ask you smallest nine digit number smallest four digit number smallest 10 digit number greatest 10 digit number you are able to write i think so so that one will be your homework to write smallest one digit number two digit number till smallest six digit number and just like that you have to write greatest one digit number greatest two digit number greatest three digit number just like that greatest six digit number till greatest six digit number you have to write okay okay moving to your worksheet 1 of your mathematics book in this chapter there are two types sorry in this worksheet there are two types of question discussed first one is write the numbers representing on the following abacus till class 3 you have done four digit number now i am preparing for five digit number here we write ones then tens then hundred then thousand then 10000 very good now i will make some beats on this respective places you have to count and write that number in the appropriate box given okay now
okay let us count the bit at ones place one very good then in tens place one two three okay then in hundred place one then in thousand place one two three four then in ten hundred place one two very good okay what we will what we will say this number how can you say that 24131 very good okay i am taking one more example here is ones here is 10 here is 1000 here is 10000 so so just count bit from ones that is 1 here is no bit it means we have to write zero here is 1 2 3 and here is no bit then we have to write zero here is one bit then we have to write one so this number is called as 10301 very good okay so i am coming to your second type of question in this you have to represent the following number on the abacus that means number is given and you have to represent that number in the abacus that is ones that is tens that is 100 that is 10000 okay now the number is given so how you will represent one bit in ones you have to draw a bit two is here two then five is here one two three four and five very good one two three four then three is here one two three yes just like that i am taking one more example ones tens Hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Okay, represent this one. Zero means no bit. Two means two bits. Zero means no bit. Zero means no bit. And four means four bits. One, two, three, four. Just like that. I'm giving few questions. Try to solve them, and try to represent that and them in abacus. so you have to do this number and you have to represent these numbers in your abacus okay so i am coming to next worksheet that is worksheet 2 worksheet 2 which contains numeral and their number name which you have already studied in class 3 so let us recapitulate something Like nine nine nine, that is numeral. Everyone knows, and you have to nine write its number name. What is it is called? Nine thousand nine hundred ninety. Nine, yes. Then one more number. It is two thousand ten. Okay. So one introduction to one lakh. How many digit one lakh contains? That is ones, tens, 
hundred thousand ten thousand and this one is lakh so how many is it one two three four five and six six digit very good how will you will get one lakh plus one then you will get one lakh yes that is one more than ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine yes so i am giving few numerals you have to write okay i will that i will write that for you this is ones tens hundred thousand and ten thousand yes 20 this one is 25000 and 2 yes 25000 and 2 yes then second example for you it contains six digit it means it is a number of lakh period yes ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand that is lakh it means five lakh and this one is this one is Twenty one thousand three hundred eighty eighty one. Yes. So I am giving you few homeworks. You have to write. you have to solve these questions in your homework okay okay sometime you have given number names and you have to write their numerals i am giving few examples okay that is second type of question in your worksheet 2 like 9 lakh 10 is written then you have to write its corresponding numeral okay let's start with it means it will contain six digit and last digit is 10 rest you have to fill with zero you can right like this one okay now one question is there for that i have already told you how to find greatest n number of digit and smallest n number of digit n means it can be 1 2 3 4 so okay one question is there greatest five digit number and smallest six digit number you have to write down the greatest five digit number smallest six digit number and then you have to find the difference between bo both these number Okay. For that, you know, greatest means five times nine, and smallest means one zero, and rest you have to fill with what zeros. Yes. Then find the difference. For finding the difference, the greatest number you have to write on the top, and smallest number in the bottom. 
so you will get one yes so that's all for today thank you so much for watching my video that is class 4 mathematics chapter 1 part 1 which contains worksheet 1 and 2 for next worksheet please watch my next video that is part 2 till then stay at home stay safe stay healthy thank you